Hello, this is Mike, and you're watching the Shooting Stars broadcast, and we're covering the meets of August, just to uh, rattle off some things in the very beginning of the broadcast. Uh, just in case uh, some people don't know, the broadcast information is mostly picked up by a photo meets information hub that is a chat group on Instagram that is uh, moderated and admined by Sydney Nova Art, that is the creative uh, director of Shooting Stars. Uh, she largely invites people, models, photographers, makeup artists, creatives, and uh, they're able to invite people that they uh, wish to feel free to uh, network, promote their photo meets, events, various things that go on within the community to list off some of the different admins of various different groups, uh, Poe from Poe Sessions, there's OC Creator Squad, uh, Creative Friends Network, Andy, he's in there, Violet from Violet Views, Eric from ECP Events, different various people of various meets are in there. So it's kind of like an information hub, things that you discover, things that you find out as they break, as they are discovered, and uh, largely anything that is found and curated is then you know, mentioned in the broadcast and uh, then compiled and then I read it here in the episode. So I think only today's month is the month that I put most of it together, but that's because I'm having a lot of stuff happen this month. And so uh, with that being said, uh, let's get to the different uh, news topics ahead. The first news topic that's relating to meets, uh, that is the Violet Views meets. Uh, she's having a giveaway. The giveaway relates to giving away a Fujifilm Polaroid camera that also includes uh, 10 film, and uh, that would include you being able to enter an unlimited amount of times. Uh, liking the post, tagging three different people in the comments, and participating in this interactive social posting. So if you want to win this Fujifilm Polaroid camera, you would participate in Violet's giveaway. So again, that's no purchase necessary. You would just like the post, tag three different people that you know in the comments, and you're eligible to win this Fujifilm Polaroid camera. So looking at August, the very first event coming up is the Halfway to Halloween Festival Scary Tales plus Mini Golf, and that is taking place on Saturday, August 3rd from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. It is a family-friendly event, and it's going to have 50 spooky vendors, food and drinks, photo opportunities, activities like mini golf, and much more stuff at the event. Uh, the location is at Rancho Europa Park, 3800 Crestmore Road, in Europa Valley, Riverside. So for questions or wanting more information about wanting to go to this event, be sure to send a message to Halfway to Halloween Festival. And also one of the scare actors who will be attending this event is The Beakers. So if you're interested in seeing The Beakers perform, he's going to have some crazy, scary off-the-wall, disturbing costume. It's gonna, like, totally, like, make you go run the other way because he's gonna look like a menace. Check him out at the Halfway to Halloween Festival Scary Tales because it's gonna be, like, something you've never seen. It, it's, it's gross. It's that disturbing. Taking place on the same day, 
that is August 3rd, Saturday, at 8 p.m., is the Hot Ghoul Summer being hosted by For the Vibes and Fiamma Photo Meets. And the location for this is 1917 Bay Street in Los Angeles. So if you're interested in this, uh, I believe it's supposed to be Ghoul's scary type of uh, summer vibes mixed in with spooky oriented type of theme. This is the event you'd want to check out. Bay Street is a common type of atmosphere for, you know, everyone to just get together, have a spooky themed photo shoot. You can look at the flyer that's um, Scars? But she has a different handle, too. <sighs> I know the different handle. I see the handle all the time. I'll flash it in the end of this video, and you'll, you'll see it. And then I'll say, oh, I knew that handle all the time. Why didn't I say that? But anyway, Scars. She's on the flyer. And uh, yeah, that poster looks incredible. Awesome. Oh, and that's happening. Again, uh, Saturday the 3rd, 8 p.m., Hot Goal Summer, for the vibes, uh, be sure to check it out. The next event is happening at 2 p.m. on Sunday at Hook Park, and it is happening every Sunday at 2 p.m. at Hook Park, and uh, it is the Sundays at the park. They have vintage cars, they have classic cars, they have cars that have that good classic aesthetic. Everyone's welcome. Some people bring barbecues, chairs out. One of the car clubs from the Inland Empire Cruise Nights shows up, have their cars out on display. So for photographers, for models, if you're interested in just having quality photos with these vintage cars, they just have their cars out on display. So they're there for people to like admire, appreciate, get a sense of the quality of the vehicles that they have. Victorville, everyone's welcome. 2 p.m. every Sunday. Another event that's also taking place on Sunday is Flirty Fashions 3, taking place at Ode Pow Wow Park. It is taking place with six amazing models, Hayden, Alexi, Katie, Mitzi, Kelsey, and Holly. And for details, you would message Allure Photography Group. The next event taking place is an event being hosted by Denise, who is a uh, photographer in the community, and uh, this event is called Photo Meetup. It is taking place on Saturday the 10th, and it is between 1 to 7 p.m. It has models that with an entry of 60 bucks and photographers with an entry of 100 bucks and it offers fashion boudoir and milk baths so they have a location for milk baths outdoor and indoor various seating areas and uh, i believe a bedroom area as well for boudoir shooting again that's being hosted by denise uh, if you're interested you would send a message to her Instagram handle that is below, and uh, on the flyer you could see the various photos of this location if you're interested in participating in this photo meet event. The next photo meet event is Violet's birthday, and this is being hosted by Violet Views. Violet just actually uh, graduated high school, and now she has a birthday, so that's like two different things going on. That's cool. She is having her birthday in Hollywood Hills, and so this is Hollywood Hills birthday photo meet, and there's two different time slots for people interested. There is the 11.30 to 2.30 time slot, and 2.30 to 5.30, so people interested in the mid-morning photo shoot, you can take just the mid-morning and kind of check out earlier in the day, or if you're an afternoon person, want to kind of 
have that golden hour shoot, you can check in the 230 to 530 range and kind of get that late afternoon and shoot then. Uh, for models, it is 20 bucks. For photographers, it is 75 bucks. That includes also tacos. So tacos are going to be in, available for both time slots. So no matter what time slot you pick, you're going to also be having tacos available to eat as well. And so uh, you can respond with the RSVP in the link in the bio, and that is being hosted by Violet View Meets. There was a late edition at night, and then I found that there was different events happening as well, and so I'm going to cover those news events happening right now. Uh, looking at the first event, it is uh, CNPS South Coast, and that is a monthly meeting, so these events take place every month, and the date is August 5th, 2024. Uh, location is Alondra Park Island in Lawndale. And uh, it actually has a description, so I'm just going to read that right now. Uh, Discover the rich history and stunning beauty of Alondra Park Island, a native park preserve with its founder and director, Janine Bauman. We'll enjoy a guided tour, hear about the island's transformation into a native plant haven, and learn about its ongoing care by the South Bay Parkland Conservancy. Another event that's taking place is Wicked Fest. This is a spooky Halloween-oriented event happening August 10th, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, Halloween-themed marketplace with 85 spooky vendors. There's food, drink, horror cosplay, spooky photo ops, free entry, and free parking. So with that alone, uh, you have me sold. Uh, sounds like a fantastic opportunity. But there's a lot of stuff happening on the 10th, too. There's like a bunch of things happening on the 10th. So that's a tough, that's a tough thing. There, this month is stacked, by the way. If you're looking at events and if you're looking at the calendar for August, very stacked month, tons of events. Wicked Fest in particular looks really amazing. Uh, I'm just going to just uh, go through the description here. Uh, it says, join us for the third annual Wicked Fest. This outdoor ghoulish gathering takes place in Yukaipa Performing Arts Center on the 10th, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Shop 85 Spooky Small Business Vendors, Local Artists, and Creators with items ranging from apparel, decor, accessories, and so much more. Feast your eyes on delectable foods, treats, beverage options, ready to dust off those costumes and dance the fright away. Don't miss out on this free event happening in the Inland Empire, a fun night for family, friends, and lovers of all things Halloween. See you there. So again, this is taking place August 10th, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., Wicked Fest, all things Halloween, all things horror related. I am an avid horror fan. This looks interesting to me. August 10th, though, a lot of things are happening August 10th. So I'm kind of like, Ugh, that's, that's a tricky one. Um, yeah, that one's really, really interesting, though. In Yukaipa. So Yukaipa Performing Arts Center. Uh, 12062 California Street, Yukaipa, California. If you're interested, you want to check it out. Saturday, August 10th, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Wicked Fest. Be sure to check out Wicked Boutique. If you have questions or information that you want to ask, send a message to them and inquire.